Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me today on Kentucky Sea Angler. Today I'm going to be fishing my favorite diving crankbait, the Bandit 200 series. Now uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm throwing it on, um, my cranking setup and uh, why I love this goofy color. I mean it just gets bit, but um, I don't got that much time. I got about an hour and a half, so let's get to fishing and see if I can't get a few bass on. There we go. <laughs> All right, first fish. That's a good sign. Something's biting today. Not bad. Oof. Little guy, little white bass. That's our first one, so we gotta show it. I mean, nothing impressive, but they're biting. No way. There we go. Oh. Fighter. Oh, dang. Is that a freaking. Heck no. What in the. Bit mud out everywhere. This thing's freaking huge. Look at the size of that. I mean, I've been fishing the Cumberland for a long time now, out of Tennessee. Here I'm on the door to Kentucky and Tennessee, if you can't tell by the name, and I've never caught one of these before. Look at the size of that thing. Damn, I'm gonna get a weight on it. I 
really don't know how big. I don't know anything about these fish. like almost nine pounds three ounces you guys can see that man that's a that's a cool looking fish they're really not i was saying not uh common here Wow. There we go. That's a nice fish. Open up, buddy. I'm gonna hook myself, he's hooked off back now. There we go. All right, that's a decent one. It's a decent white. All right. You'll make a couple tacos. A nice white, nice white bass. It's like they're, uh, they're just loving this bandit. Hey, what's up, guys? So thanks for joining me today. Uh, I only had about an hour and a half to fish, uh, unfortunately. So I, I feel like I really didn't do justice to just how great this crankbait is. But I mean, given the amount of time we did, we produced some fish, and that bowfin was just freaking awesome. So I didn't talk too much about it while I was catching it because I don't want to talk about fish I don't really know about and that's a fairly uncommon fish in the, uh, the southeast where I fish. So basically I fish, um, you know, Tennessee and Kentucky right on the border and we don't, you know, we don't have a lot of bow fins there. It's not that common. So for me to catch that today, that was fantastic and the, the size of it just kind of took the words away from me. Um, I did look, I did a bunch of research on it right after I caught it. So as soon as I got home, I started looking it up, you know. Um, so the our state record is just over 15 pounds. So I was pulling in a nine pounder. That's a, a fantastic fish right there. Um, you know, judging by what I've read, I'm pretty sure it's a female. It has a, supposedly males got darker colored fins and they also have a, an eye spot on them, which we did not have. So we just had a, a big, beautiful female bow fin, which is a, uh, it's a, it's kind of like gars from what I read. They've been around forever. It's considered a living fossil and they also can breathe air for a good amount of time. So. I'm just super stoked I caught that. Another notch off the old bedpost. Like, it's a it's a fish. I knew it was around. I, I've, I've seen on like fish brain people catching them, but I've never actually seen someone catching it. And I mean, I fish that area all the time and I hadn't got one yet. So I'm stoked. Like I said, it kind of took the words away so I didn't have much of a commentary on them. They're awesome. I mean, if you, you want to look them up, just, you know, Google Bowfin. Um, they got a few other different uh, names people associate with them and I'm sure they're more common in other areas but for me that that was one hell of a catch 
Uh, we also got a couple white bass on uh, on the crank, which you know I catch them all the time. They uh, they do eat crankbaits, surprisingly little ones, but we'll just go after these decent sized crankbaits. Um, but yeah, I was happy with those as well. Um, like I said, I got about an hour and a half of fishing. I'm a weekend warrior when it comes to fishing, so that was kind of my after work special. But I was fishing the Bandit 200 series crankbait today. Which is a four to eight foot diving crankbait. I mean, it's got great hooks, it's got great action. It's, uh, they got, you know, awesome colors. The other color I was using, uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'll throw it in the comments. It's some sort of like kind of holographic shad color. It's got like holographic like type decals on the side. It's got a, a blue back, you know, and I usually don't buy crazy elaborate colors when I go fishing, but, um, I, I was I was using these uh, these pearl uh, black pearl ones for a while, and I think they were out of them, so I ended up buying some some of these uh, kind of fancier ones, fancier color ones at one point, and they were just getting hit like crazy. So it suddenly became like my go-to color when I'm you know when I'm at Walmart getting groceries, I always buy a couple uh, a couple different tackle things for me to you know make my trip worth it, or make my trip more exciting. So. Uh, yeah, that became my really go-to color, and I've caught, I mean, ton, a ton of bass on it, but also other fish. I caught a smallmouth buffalo on it, which is um, another really cool fish, or maybe I'll end up getting one on, but I've only caught one before. I've caught catfish on it, caught all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyhow, I, I highly recommend this diving crankbait. I was super excited to fish it. Um, it's fall. This is, this is what the fish are biting. That's why I chose to do it. Um, again, so my crankbait setup, I showed this off in my um, square bill session, but I was using my 6.2 uh, Chronarch, which I absolutely adore, and my St. Croix Legend glass rod, which is a medium heavy moderate action uh, glass rod. Uh, anyhow guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for checking out the video. If you give me a like and subscribe, show me some support if you're uh, into the content or if you, you know, maybe learned something or just enjoyed watching it. Anyhow, thanks a lot guys. Uh, hope you all have an awesome weekend. Happy Veterans Day. Take care.